Hi, this is Michael Lemenz with MyTennisTools.com. Over at Wash Park the other day, I uh, ran into Rich Benvin, a professional tennis player, got a, a great slice backhand. Pleasure to watch him hit it, and he uh, agreed to give us a few tips. So I had my camera and decided to videotape this. So basically, holding the other's hand, and you got your left to right, so he's this kind of pendulum motion. This is happening all the time when you're hitting. This little subtle body weight transfer. Once you racket by your left ear, I always like to have my elbow bent, see? So I can control my racket pace. You notice how I'm swinging from the shoulder, see? First the shoulder, it's body mechanics. And then from the elbow, the contact, and then the wrist. So you want to make it in front, of course. You want to have your body weight behind the shot, back to the side of it, because that's when you get in trouble. This is a defensive shot. See my body weight? See, it's all it's very subtle where my body's positioned. So the key and what I really stood out to me when I first saw it a lot was Wow, he is there. He's putting his body in the position where he needs to be to hit that shot. And it's also a footwork, of course. Alright, so then you know, it goes back to footwork. But anyway, you gotta get there with your left foot. And now, I'm positioned in the way that my body's going forward and through. As soon as I'm like this, I'm overturned. I'm that's a defensive shot. So, so here to here. I didn't even move my shoulder at all. My shoulder stayed very foot. I'd stand here. Lots of times people end up getting their elbow out here. And that's when you get that side spin. Which you can do on purpose sometimes. You see the pros do that side spin and so it makes it even tougher for the pass pass or so. Here to here, you stay down, you gotta keep your head down. Keep it low, nice and low. Lower the better. Okay, so let's watch Rich do this in slow motion. Uh, and Rich has told me this is how he learned to do it as a kid with buckets of balls. He would just sit there and hit ball after ball. So now I think that um, I need to give this a try here too. Let's see how I can do it. And we'll slow it down too. Let's check it out. Elbows bent. Come from the shoulder. Maybe move the shoulder a little bit, lift at the head. But there you go. There's your three-minute lesson with Rich Benven. Uh, swing forward like a pendulum. Swing from the shoulder, then the elbow. And when you're getting really, uh, really good, you put a little wrist in there. Hope you enjoyed this tip.